Welcome back to our Taxtron support channel. Today, we're diving into the Tax on Split Income, or TOSI, rules. If you're a business owner or involved with family income splitting, this is crucial information for you. What are the TOSI rules? The TOSI rules, or Tax on Split Income rules, are designed to prevent families from lowering their tax bills by sharing income among family members. Where TOSI applies, the disability tax credit, dividend tax credit, and foreign tax credit can be used to reduce the individual's tax payable for the year. Here's how they work. Who is affected? If you're under 18 years old, the TOSI rules apply to you. What is split income? Split income includes certain types of money you might get, like taxable dividends, money from owning shares in a company, taxable capital gains, profit from selling investments, or income from partnerships or trusts. High tax rate. If you're under 18 and receive split income, it will be taxed at the highest rate, which is currently 33%. This means you pay a lot more tax on that income compared to adults. Where to report? At line 40424, this is where you report the federal tax on split income on your personal income tax return on your T1. Form T1206, this form is specifically for calculating and reporting the tax on split income. Why does this matter? These rules help ensure that families can't unfairly reduce their taxes by shifting income to children. If you're a young person receiving money this way, it's important to understand how it will be taxed. Some key changes. Introduced in 2018, the TOSI rules brought significant changes to how income splitting is taxed. Here are some key points. Eligibility criteria. Income splitting is limited to individuals who are not actively involved in the business. Reasonable return exception. If family members contribute significantly to the business, they may still receive a reasonable return without triggering TOSI. For instance, if a spouse helps manage a business, they might qualify for income without facing TOSI, but if they only receive a dividend with no involvement, that income could be taxed under TOSI. So, let's practice calculating the tax on split income, or TOSI, using TaxTron Web. Let's get started with a practical example. For our first example, we'll enter dividends subject to TOSI using a T3 slip. Let's assume we have $8,900 in eligible dividends from Box 49 that are subject to TOSI. First, log on to the TaxTron web platform. Head over to the T1 client section and select an existing client. From there, create a new return for the specific client. Before proceeding, make sure that the personal information section under identification is complete and accurate. This is a crucial step to ensure everything is filed correctly. Now, navigate to the Income tab and locate the Profile tab. Answer yes to the question, did you receive income from investments, shares, property, or claiming reserves? Then checkmark the tile for T3 and click Next. You'll see the T3 slip on your screen. Enter box 49 as $8,900 and complete the rest of the T3 slip as shown. Next, go to the Deductions tab. At the Deductions tab, you can click on Rare Deductions and check mark the tile for Tax on Split Income. This will take you to the TOSI page. On the TOSI page, you'll see three questions. For our scenario, answer yes to are you support reporting split income. Enter the dividend amount in the box labeled the part of the tax payable amount of dividends, eligible and other eligible, received from taxable Canadian corporations as 8,900 and then click next. Now assume that your return is complete. Let's navigate to the review and file page. Check for er any errors and fix them beforehand. After reviewing, download a copy of the record keeping document for the tax return. Go to your records and click client copy.
scroll down to the T1206 form federal tax on split income. In part two, you will see a calculated federal tax on split income of $2,937. This is due to the income being taxed at the highest marginal tax rate of 33%, which will be reported on line 40424 of the T1 general. Also in part two of the T1206, you will get a dividend tax credit of approximately 15% which makes your net federal tax payable 1624 cents. This amount will be reported on line 42,000 of your T1 general. And that's how you handle TOSI calculations on TaxDrawn Web. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tax tips. Have any questions on TOSI or TaxDrawn? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.